I'm just going to either go to my mom's house or because I, I need to catch up on my show, P Valley. I still haven't seen it. Um, and I can't get stars on my fire stick for some reason. I can't figure it out. If you didn't know, I'm not that tech savvy. So um, either that or I'm going to go to Insomnia and get me some cookies just to get out the house real quick. If I don't do that, I might call my girlfriend that's always around the way just to see what she's doing and probably sit on the step and talk to her or something. Baby girl ain't been outside. So I'm sick of sitting in the house and I'm bored. So. I ain't want the rice. 
They took forever doing it. Shrimp burrito and fries. Not healthy at all. They put black beans on this too. They had these little $5 drinks. They should have just said $5 juice. They should have been selling hugs. But that wasn't no margarita. Nah, no. I'm drunk. I am drunk, though. Okay, a little bit of liquor. You know I can't handle no liquor like that. All the babies ran up to me outside. I don't know all them babies. I don't know all them babies. I'm hugging my Talaya and my, uh, my Malaya. I need them to stop naming these kids and just switching the first letter. Talaya and Malaya. But it was about five other babies that ran up to me too. You know, Yana got a new baby. Well, I think that's her boyfriend daughter. Really, is this top button that's, that's cutting off my circulation. Mmm, so good. You got roses. They're roses right here. Yeah. Are y'all a ranch girl or a blue cheese? I've been a ranch girl since I was a kid. So y'all did a whole party for Mr. Mike. He liked the drink. For sure. <laughs> so our baby girl got her bag out. How about my lift driver? Had bottles of water. <laughs> the escape room. Who pays to be scared? Who pays to be scared? I ain't bring no mask, so I hope they don't turn me around. Period on purpose. I hope they can park right in front of the door.
Another clap. Another clap. Another clap. Another clap. Sip. Another clap. Another clap. Drink. Another clap. Another clap. So, as you can see, we are walking into something called the Ice Bar. I was so freaking, like, hyped because I was like, wait a minute. Had I had not paid attention, I'm like, where are these people going? Child, my girlfriend bragged on a location similar to this so much she wanted to go to she had found one in dc and she was like we gotta go we gotta go and i was like girl i'm not going to dc just to go to some bar to be cold but <laughs> it's totally worth it and i was like sending her pictures and everything i'm like girl look at this shit like it's really a fucking vibe she was like oh you know i should have been here because that's something that i wanted to do i'm like yes i said i thought of you soon as i seen it the entire place is made of ice nothing but ice sculptures it's cold when i say it's cold it's cold i don't know how he's standing there all day in burton it's cold they actually had like warage coats for everybody to grab but you know we wasn't paying attention but uh, one of the girls that was with us she did notice it and she put one on it's just too cute in here and i think the thing was we wanted to take some pictures too so nobody wanted to wear them big ass coats <laughs> But yeah, this was a vibe right in Philly. Like, I think people sleep on Philly because there's so much craziness going on. I'm so glad that I have the opportunity to kind of show people like Philly is a great place to party, a great place to have a good time. You just have to be with the right people, be with the right crowd and you know stay humble. But um, yeah, so the next place was the Infinity Room. It reminds me of Yokio Kashama. I did a project on her when I was in um, fashion design school. At the end of the day, she's obsessed with like polka dots, dots. Um, she actually has a mental disorder where all she see is like fuzzy dots on everything in, in her mind. So however, she's an artist. You should look her up. Yokio Kashama. And a lot of people have been copying and mimicking her visions for installations for art and for clubs as you can see so this was so cute so sexy i could picture like just me and my guy in this room doing the nasty nobody has to be in there just the loud ass music and those fucking lights <laughs> But who is the guy? Who? Who? Single as fuck. But yeah, let's get into the rest of the vlog. Y'all, I feel fire. I feel fire. Just, I was really, really tired. I wound up calling out for work. Which is not the goal. So, if I can't have balance, I most certainly need to um, either come home early or do not go. Um, but Lord Jesus, you talk about tired. It did. <sighs> tired, and then when you outside moving around knowing more than usual your body just be like girl you out of commission for 24 hours at, at least okay all that twerking and dropping it low and screaming to the top of your lungs let me tell you mm -mm. so nothing ain't need something to eat even though it's very late in the afternoon i'm just I'm just now waking up. So I'm going to have to make up the day that I missed from work. Um, some way, somehow, try to get a couple extra shifts in. Because baby girl got a lot of stuff planned to be showing my vlog and my YouTube. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> And my YouTube, I know it, this this whole vlogging thing is new to me. Um, like I say, and I say it all the time, at first it was just to... At first when I started vlogging or whatever, I wanted to do it to relieve, like, 
stress um i used to have a written blog a lot of people don't know that but i used to have a blog where you had to write and put post pictures and stuff like that um and i let it go after some time and i would talk on i would speak on some pretty good topics like fashion and um relationship stuff and really it was more so like fashion um but now it's just me just documenting my life and i have i've learned to have a i'm sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry and i'm not editing editing edit, editing these parts out but i've um slowly started to learn that you have to appreciate what you have going on um the reason why i initially started blogging at the time was to just have a hobby relieve some stress i had a lot going on back in the day um talking about just situations not being ideal at all not how i see myself myself or my life lived at all like i was living in um a room with a partner of mine and we were sharing a twin size bed and i was bigger than what i am now well probably the same size who knows but baby girl is too big and too broad in the shoulders too wide in the hips too long in the legs to be sharing a twin size bed with a nigga and it's just what i was doing sharing a twin size bed with a nigga like stick with me stick with me understand what i'm saying i really had to i put myself through school i started blogging being more active on social media and just really starting to see that i can live my life um the way i want to you know what i mean i could have stayed stuck but i, I didn't I did and it would be like late hours of me what what y'all call content now I've been posting for years like pictures outings um doing little rants talking going live all that stuff you know meeting new friends you know I've been doing that shit for years so I said recently when I started watching a lot of the YouTube girls, I was like, oh, this is a thing. Like this is like a world. Like they making money off of it, or they're, um, you know, they they this is their, you know, this is just a circle of girls that's really it girls, you know, and they're showing other women that they don't have to be stuck and stagnant and boring and wow you know so i said i wanted to start a youtube channel so i started a youtube channel and it is what it is it's growing it at first i remember when i had 36 youtube uh <laughs> subscribers 36 you know so my uh, channel is growing it's very very small but um i'm almost near the um the thousand point I don't know what I'm going to do when I get a thousand subscribers. I'm probably just going to be Joe and like <laughs> maybe do like a lot. I'm so nervous to do a live on YouTube because sometimes people don't watch my live on social media because they, it'd be like one or two people in my live. I'm not doing a live if one or two people was in my live, but I would love to um, do a live, maybe a sip and kiki. I'm, <laughs> I literally may call it a sip and kiki. Like, talk about shit be silly maybe maybe have a friend there because i'm gonna be nervous <laughs> but um cut to the chase i'm just happy that i have gotten out of my shell as far as meeting new people hanging out with new people um i do recommend that you start off small if you're leery about people places and situations like make sure it's someplace local make sure you always have a little extra cash to get you know back home carry a small little weapon just in case something happened because i'm not saying that the people could be of danger it can be like just situation you know you never know so if you hanging out with new friends and doing new things just make sure you protect yourself let somebody know where you at you know check in with you know your peoples every now and again it can be a sister a cousin an auntie your mama whoever just be like oh i'm going here you know mention it a couple times that way 
if anything arrives, you can just, you know, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, live your life. Um, I know it seems impossible at times because I've, I'm sorry if this is a rent and maybe it is seven minutes. So we're going to take it to at least 11. <laughs> but um, more so what I'm trying to say is live your life. Uh, we get so caught up in status and, oh, we got to have all these degrees, still get your degree, still work, still grind, still start that business, still do everything that you want to do, but find, I always say, find pockets of time to live, just live life that's hanging out, that's breathing in good air, that's eating good food, experiencing new cultures, that's appreciating other people lifestyles you know what i mean that's that's everything you know what i mean don't just be stuck in yourself and stuck in one way where it's a full world of people and places and things that you can fall in love with at least try to touch on something you know try to achieve at least one of your goals if it's always been your dream to go to dubai or africa or something like that if it's completely unobtainable to book a flight, start to visit those restaurants, experience their cultures, go to a festival or something where their music is being played. You know what I mean? It's so many ways to just do shit. All I'm saying is just have some fun, but have balance. <laughs> My ass, gotta have balance. So y'all do see where y'all watch my channel and y'all be like this fucking girl one day she's talking about her business one day she um modeling taking pictures one day she at a restaurant with the family then the next day she with her girlfriends then the next day she's sitting here talking about how niggas ain't shit that's because you gotta have balance baby you gotta live your life it's a lot going on yeah it's a lot going on it's a lot going on um, <laughs> but wouldn't it be horrible if you sit back and say, oh, I just went to work and came home. Wouldn't that be horrible? So we had nine minutes and 35 seconds and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>